for some players, and I like to go to the United States, but you know, it's harder to the list was uh, so long. Uh, people come in and give them, uh, pay some to see if you can get them going, you know, you had to be on. Uh, so one day Mussolini changed the law. Was saying whoever wants to immigrate to the United States, don't have to go see nobody. Just write a direction to the immigration office. Thirteen days I was called. The first thing you know, it, uh, on the boat was eating it, and I didn't like it too much, you know. When we got to New York, they gave us sandwiches, you know. Nice sandwiches, you know. Coffee and milk, which over the country didn't have that. So we got so surprised, you know. A couple of sandwiches, a couple of, a couple of, we were so surprised at that. Is that what you mean? Well, yes. Uh, remember that we stood at the aisle before we got, to, before we, the ship got into the right place to come off. They stopped us over there. They had the, the doctors come over, check over, see if we had any kind of a disease or anything. We stopped there probably maybe, well, I don't know, a couple, three, four hours, I guess. And then it took us to the harbor and took her off. Yeah, well, sure, I remember all that, yes. I got a job down Rayon, Circumel. Mm -hmm. That was 19, well, let's see here, now, 28. Well, I was the, uh, I was a press man. I was a, uh, uh, You were in the press. Mark, making silk. Get the pulp and the dry paper, put on the press, and turn the acid on it, uh, uh, drain, uh, press them, uh, grind, and uh, make a silk. Well, uh, the job wasn't a. Uh, well, I mean, uh, yes, uh, it was a pretty good job. Had to wear the uh, mask all the time because of splash and soda. Mm -hmm. And rubber gloves because it was handling the pulp and the soda. And rubber shoes, the temperature was a 30 temperature all the time. And it was a hell of a job. But then again, what the hell? I mean, those days it was hard to get a job. It was very hard. I was lucky enough. I met a nephew to keep the family going. Then in 1929, I worked in that. You know what I used to do? And I used to walk at the Rayon back and forth for 10 cents. It used to be trolley, but. It, I was working that night at 3 11, and I saw the sign over the garage, you know, a sign, a sign there for sale. The weasel was a high, but you could tell the sign for, it was for sale. So I thought, Jim, on a criminal, well, you know, uh, I think I could use this piece of ground. It's on the road here. Uh, See, I'm a, was a looking for it, honey, to do something, because as I say, if I stay in the garage, work in the garage, and I'll be a good mechanic, so what, what good is it? I see if I can use what I learn by an automobile. How is it true? I'm not kidding you. <coughs> so I saw the sign for sale. Well, I had a notion to, to not go to work in the night, but I think hell, I don't be there tomorrow morning. So next morning, I go downtown and I find out when I had a one's up piece of ground. A woman came to Mahoney. They left a lot of money at the church here. So I find, said, how much you want for that piece of ground? $260. Well, I said, I ain't got no cash. I don't want a cash. Well, she knows that I was. I don't want a cash. So I had $20. And I give her $20, that's all. I went home and told her mom that I bought the ground. What are you going to do with the ground? And, uh, well, I started paying on it, you know. And uh, so the first thing you know, I bought a machine. I, I, I borrowed a machine, the Ascanas. See, we used to make a blocks, and Henry, Henry Marnell used to make a blocks. But I bought the machine together, and then... Uh, Then uh, we, uh, weed, uh, and I was a deliverer to him. It was with my truck to the, I never, he never got 
I never got paid. And uh, uh, Marinella never got paid either. He was one of this stuff to make blocks. We the take some blocks. I never gave Marinella any money at all, so Marinella quit. While with this truck, I used to go down the river and, and get a sand. The ferry used to be here, Bob, uh, what you call it, used to be Bob. Uh, and I go down the uh, uh, ferry and get a lot of cinders and mix together made the blocks. In three months at a time, I made 800 blocks. I worked seven days a week. Eventually, I put the building up, small hole. And then I started buy a car. But I'd had no money, and I had started very, very little. So little, that's the way.